Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Alyssa and this is The Potter Stop where we're talking Harry Potter all the time. Today we're going to be diving in to some more Harry Potter fun at home and I'm going to be making a puzzle that I ordered off of Etsy. So I'm a little skeptical about it. I've never really ordered anything like that off of Etsy before from like a little makeshift shop. Um, I will link them down below if you want to see what puzzles they have yourselves and order one yourself. But we are going to be trying this out. Um, the way it came in the package, um, I'm definitely like not too sure how it's going to turn out. I'm used to getting like a box puzzles from a toy store or Target or something like that. But this did come in like a plastic wrap. It has the picture of the puzzle on one side and the puzzles on the other side. So we're going to try this out. We are doing a Hogwarts Express puzzle today. It's a 120 piece puzzle. So I'm really excited to see how this really is going to turn out. So grab a seat, dive on in. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and leave a thumbs up if you like what you see. So let's go guys. Okay everyone, so here we have our Hogwarts Express puzzle. Like I said, it came in a plastic wrap. You can see the puzzle here. Here's the puzzle pieces on the other side. Okay, so this is our picture that we're going to have to use as our guide through the puzzle. So I'm going to unwrap this. We're going to take out the picture. I'm going to leave it over here, I think, to have. So I have a, still a nice big open space for doing the puzzle. I might even do it on top of this cardboard just so I have something to lay it on. Because if anything, I'm probably going to like glue it down afterwards. Um, it's just so I can... Uh, frame it hopefully and be able to display this on my wall so I'm very excited to see the quality of this right now okay so that's garbage over there okay so so far this is definitely I can just tell already by the texture of the back of the puzzles that this is definitely 3d printed if you guys can see that there yep you can just see by the little bumps and stuff on there even just feeling it like it's a little like i guess you could say squishier than like the normal like almost cardboard texture that a normal puzzle would have so uh this is definitely not the normal puzzle but, I mean, it still looks like it definitely came out pretty high quality. Even here, like, you could see on this piece that it does have a lot of sparkles on it. So that's pretty cool. It looks pretty good quality with the picture. So, we are going to transition into a time lapse. I don't think anyone wants to sit and watch for an hour or so while I put this puzzle together. So... Join along guys, I'll see you there. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're like about one third, I would say, going towards halfway there. Um, I do gotta say that a lot of these are like very pixelated. It is hard to make out. So definitely um, on a review of the puzzle in general, um, it could be way better quality. It is making it harder to do this puzzle. But I am going to keep going. I hope I can finish it soon. So we're going to continue on with this, guys.
friends, we did it. I finally, after three hours of a time lapse, have completed this puzzle. I'm not going to lie, it does look a little funky. Um, I know that there's a section down here that i definitely not sure I put the right pieces in. But this here is the final product. Hope you guys can see that. I'm sorry if there's a glare. But I will put the original picture up here for you guys to see and compare. I know I definitely did a fail in that corner over here. But... I did my best. I have not done a puzzle in a long time and like I said this was a little hard to see. I would give this probably a 6 out of 10 for the quality. It could have been more clear. Um, the, each individual piece was definitely blurry picture wise so it did make it a lot more difficult to put this together because it was very blurred out. But we did it in the end. I did the best I could. I hope it wasn't an epic fail, but I did what I could. So, with that being said, if you guys like what you saw, if you want to see me do another one, let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up. And I solemnly swear I'll see you in the next video.